When Simone Biles took herself out of the gymnastics team finals at the Tokyo Olympics, it was shocking. Biles made headlines everywhere. And while some attacked her for being mentally weak, others praised her for putting her mental health above any Olympic medal. So what happened to Simone Biles? And what does sport and performance psychology have to do with it? I'm Dr. Jason Rich, an adjunct lecturer at SUNY Brockport with expertise in sport and performance psychology. I look at athlete performance and experience through physical, psychological, and social lenses. Let's break it down. Contrary to what people think, sport and performance psychology isn't used to increase the performance ceiling of athletes. Instead, it focuses on enabling athletes to perform more consistently close to their peak physical ability and level. Simone Biles was performing at her highest level of gymnastics with an ever-increasing level and difficulty of skills. She was unquestionably deemed the GOAT, the greatest of all time, and was consistently at the center of Olympic news with high expectations to take home several gold medals. But at the games, Biles developed the twisties, a phenomenon that affects being able to tell where you are in the air. Though the mechanism is different, it parallels the yips in baseball when professional baseball players lose the ability to throw a ball. But in gymnastics, it's a lot more dangerous. There is a history of gymnasts in America and abroad having career-ending injuries, even paralysis, stemming from abuse, expectations, and manipulation leading to performing in unsafe conditions. We don't know if there's a direct connection between the twisties and mental health, but it would be hard to say that there is not some connection. In my opinion, several external and internal factors related to mental health immediately came to mind that may have played a role in Simone getting the twisties. These include the Nasser scandal in the last quad, the stress of continuing to compete to remain an advocate for the victims, despite wanting to be done, and the overwhelming pressure and expectations from the media. You can't ignore the pressure of what being the GOAT could have on someone, and leaning into that title can be detrimental, especially in a discrete sport like gymnastics. If an athlete starts performing badly, they could start spiraling with thoughts like, am I not the GOAT anymore? However, when Biles pulled herself out, she said it was due to dealing with things internally and that she needed to take a back seat to focus on her mental health. In sport and performance psychology, we teach that athletes need to focus on the process, be present in the moment, and focus on what they can control in order to perform consistently. For example, in close sports like gymnastics or swimming, how your competitors perform is not in your control. If they start hitting their routines or if they're on track for personal bests, it has no impact on your time or score. But when your mind starts thinking about their decisions and moves, your mindset shifts away from focusing on what's in your control and that has the potential to negatively impact your attitude, motivation, and confidence, leading to a decrease in performance and consistency. With the twisties out of her control, Biles then exerted control over the only thing she could and didn't compete in multiple events. But she continued to try and get over the twisties by practicing. Eventually, she chose to tweak her routine and return for the balance beam final. That behavior of seeking control shows she has mental toughness. When athletes experience a setback in their performance, feel a shift in the momentum of their competition or practice, or even if everything is going according to plan, we teach them to utilize mental skills to stay focused on the process and the moment. These skills include self-talk, relaxation, energization, goal setting, imagery, and prioritizing self-care. That's why, in my experience, I believe in that moment, in that context, Simone Biles' decision to withdraw and prioritize her mental health and physical safety was the right call and priority. If you're interested in learning more about sport and performance psychology, check out the Department of Kinesiology, Sports Studies, and Physical Education at SUNY Brockport.